create everything. Alright guys, so we're just going to convert this wind speed because it's actually in meters per second, which to me, American, I don't really, I'm not too good with meters, to be honest, I'm bad at physics. And so, we, we're, in this case, we're just going to make a quick conversion because this is what would make more sense for me. So, um, to convert from meters per second to miles per hour is 2.237 times our wind speed. This will convert it into miles per hour. So, um, let's go ahead and display that. And you'll see, okay, cool, this is it's working. But again, it's kind of ugly right here, so we're just going to go ahead and go dot to fixed. We're going to throw one, one space on it. Save. And we need to actually target the whole thing. Otherwise, it's just bringing that wind speed to one decimal. So there's 6.9. Nice. Uh, last thing we want to do is we just want to add like a little bit of context. So 6.9 what? Miles per hour. So all in all, this, con this controls like 90% of the code of what you need to do. We're going to do the last 10% in which we'll be doing some if statements going from 0 to 100 degrees with every 10 degrees or maybe every 20. And that'll be, that'll be it. The rest will just be styling and personal preference after that. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. All right, guys. So the last thing that we're going to do is basically show how to change some CSS and just using some if statements for the weather here. So by default, we load a background. We're not going to actually do that. We're just going to take out our CSS entirely. So there's that. So what we're going to do here is within our within our JavaScript, within the to function, the get JSON function, we're just going to at the bottom here. It doesn't really matter where you, where you do it. I'm just going to do it at the bottom. We're just going to write some logic here. So we're going to say if f temp. So if our Fahrenheit temp is uh, greater than 80, we want it to display a sun. So how do we do that? And then we'll do we'll do we'll also do if um, do else if. So I'm going to do less than. Else if f temp. Now if f temp is greater than 80. Yeah, we're at greater was the right way, excuse me. So we're going to do is greater than. That way we can iterate downwards. So uh, we're going to say if f temp is greater than 70. So that would basically be all the temperatures between 70 and 80 right here. That's the way we're writing this logic. So in our case, it's 78.3. So whatever displays here should be what our background is. So how are we going to do that? Basically, we're just going to target the body. And we'll target it here first to show that our code is kind of working. So we're going to target the body like so. Uh, and we're going to say .css. And then this takes up, we're going to be using jQuery. This takes in two parameters. The first one is the CSS we're going to be messing with, which is background dash image. And the second one is the URL. So if you kind of remember how the background image breaks up, it'll kind of make more sense. So we're, we're doing the background image and then Within it, we're going to go ahead and put our URL, oops, our URL, which in my case right here, we're going to get image, copy image address. We're going to throw it in there. And now when we save it, you'll notice that it's not working, which is good because it's not supposed to work. So you'll notice that, oh, well, because the temp's not greater than 80. So what can we do? We can control, paste this in here, save it. And now you'll see that because the temp is less than that, our background will display. So the last thing that we really have to do for this is with this background is more or less uh, just go down maybe in 10 degree increments until maybe you get to like 30 or below freezing and then it's hail or something. But uh, more or less you can just set the temperature to showcase a different type of weather. So if it's greater, it's somewhere between 70 and 80, it's probably pretty good. So. As always guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe 
if you're interested in the next video, it's something new I'm trying where I will be basically just grouping all these videos together into one long video. And then if you want to support me by buying that for like $2.99, dope. If not, uh, you have all these other videos. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.